Because I created a short form content script writer for anything, TikTok, Instagram, Reels, YouTube shorts, that sort of thing in less than an hour. Now, this idea actually came to me from an email that I received the other day about somebody wanting to create this exact same project for a little over $10,000. So in this video, I'm going to cover the thinking behind the project as well as a lot of the problems that we had or the obstacles that we had to overcome. And at the end, we be pretty far along the same project for you to get a good grasp on how to create something like this for yourself. If there's any other product you have in mind that you would like me to cover, just either send me an email or leave it down in the comments and we'll try to get through them. I love making these. Now, as with any product like this, the first thing that I like to do is simply break down all the questions that need to be asked. The first three that came to my mind were, first of all, how would users interact with an interface in which people can talk to it? Where would this information go? Meaning, when I ask a question, where would those answers go? And then whenever a script is generated, where are those stored? And third of all, it's what service would I actually use to build this? Would I use Zapier or Make? Voice flow, maybe even stack AI. And I'm actually gonna hop on my computer. I'll show you exactly how we overcome each of these questions. Let's jump right in. The first thing I want to show you was actually the finished product for this demonstration, and then kind of work our way backwards to see how we decided to come to come up with this. What you're looking at is a framer website that I just made using framer.ai and I called a short form content generator with a random dummy video that just looks nice. And then all it says here, write a topic, include your audience, as well as how long you want your video to be, and you're good to go. So all people have to go do is they would input something like, what would you like to talk about? Now, my favorite example to actually use this is, will robots take my job? I type in here, will robots take my job? And then who's going to be watching? So is it going to be experts, people with no experience, or somewhere in the middle? Let's assume it's people with zero experience. How long should this video be? 15 to 30 seconds is fine. And the last question is, is this going to be a longer video or is this a just really self-contained one? What I mean by this is that when people are watching this short video, are you pushing them to a longer video you may have made about this topic? Something along the lines of, hey, if you want to know more about this, you should click on, on this link, go to this link, whatever. Or is it purely just a short video and there's nothing else? For this example, I'm going to use just self-contained. I press submit. Now, if I've done everything right, I'm going to go in my email. And I should see a new script being generated. And the service that's actually using in the background is relevance.ai. And I'll jump to that in a little second. Let's see what I have in my email. Now, and I just clicked on this and it came literally zero minutes ago. It says, hey there, have you ever wanted a robot to let me take your job? Well, let's find out together. See, robots are great at repetitive sounds like assembling products or work in a warehouse, blah, blah, blah. All right, now that we have our system and we know it works, how did we go about building it? There's three major components to this build. The first one is the database, which I'll start with right now, which is just an Airtable database where there's, you have the name, which is kind of empty right now. You have topic, and then you have to be who's, who's going to be watching. Is this a self-continued video and how long? Now, obviously you can change these, but for most demonstration purposes, this is what I would use. And then obviously at the end, you have the script right here. It's these things. Fantastic. So that's the Airtable database. Now, is you already aware that the way we're actually interacting with this is through a Framer website. And what I did was I actually implemented a type form within Framer to be able to accept, to be able to make quizzes and then ask questions, add pictures. And then once those are sort of filled up, that is then sending a webhook over to our main tool in the situation, which is relevance.ai. Now, I love relevance.ai. I use it for plenty of projects. And this one, I believe, is a really, really good use case of it because this is exactly what it's made to do. So all we're doing is, and if you're not familiar with relevance, it's basically a way to create really small sort of AI apps that use LLMs like uh, GBT or Claude or Bard, these sorts of things. And they just allow you to integrate these large systems within whatever you like. For this case, where we're sending over a bunch of context, which is questions, and we're basically telling it to make us a script based off of the question that we're asking users, as well as context of its environment. And it's telling you, hey, look, make me a YouTube shorts script or TikTok script, et cetera, based off of these different criteria. So let's dive a little bit deeper into relevance because that's where I think the majority of work had to go. But once you're actually inside relevance, I'd suggest just taking a look around, going and making a new tool. And this one, we call it short form content generator V. And you see here, there's four questions. These are actually set at the build level. Because if you look at here, you have got use, build, and logs, which allows you to basically get either use your applications, build it, or improve on it, and then log, which is just the historical data of it. Whenever you go in build, 
the first thing we're going to want to do is set what the user inputs are. Now, keep in mind, we're not actually using relevance as the interface because I don't think it's pretty, but this is what we're going to be sending over through a webhook from Typeform, which is the thing you saw right here. I would just refresh this. This would actually be the Typeform. Now, this is closed because I ran out of free like usages, but you know what? I mean. We have, what would you like to talk about? Who's going to be watching? How long should the video be? And then do you have a longer video on these topics? So the only four things you can add as many as you'd like, but for example, or for demonstration purposes, I think this is the most beneficial. Now, the interesting part, what we're telling the ChatGPT is we're telling it, this is actually a pretty simple script and we're only using 3.5. You could even be using four, but what we're telling it is to basically write a script with a input length of input length, which is this thing right here. And then discussing whatever topic we gave it, keeping in mind that the audience are X audience, and you must also take into consideration that the script should be either self-contained or be part of a larger video. Do not answer, do not include the word answer and do not include the quotation marks or anything weird like that. What we did is we said you are a short form content expert with expertise on YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, TikToks, and you use your knowledge of the audience retention, pacing, scripting, and editing to generate the most engaging content. Purely based on that, you can have a pretty solid way of building this machine. Well, all we're doing afterwards is we're making an API call to Airtable saying, look, take whatever information I gave it and then just send it over to Airtable, this, and then that's why it's being pasted here at the end. And that's pretty much all you have to do with relevance. It's super straightforward. Now, obviously, if you're taking this to a much more serious level, there's plenty of things that you would add. Just to name off some, I would add a bunch of knowledge about who the creator actually is. I would train this for myself. I would input a bunch of maybe mild videos or some just some contextual information about who I am so that ChatGPT or GBT can give more nuanced answers and answers that seem more personal to the content creator itself. I would also add there's something called tools, which is this is one of them. Another one is the ability to actually search the internet. So what I would do is I would run a Google search for the latest news about X topic, and then it can maybe use that as sort of contextual basis on what to build off of when it's actually writing scripts. Something else that I would add, it would be also a topic generator of some sort where let's say you don't want to always have to come up with a topic on the fly. I want this to actually make me a topic or at least help me figure out a topic. On that note, another one I would do would be, and by the way, I'm not building this just because this is for an example's purpose. It's just to show the possibilities of relevance AI. But the super interesting idea would be whenever it generates in a script, it would also generate you some basically subtopics to follow up so that if somebody's looking at your home screen or your feed and they're scrolling through your TikToks, it kind of makes sense because if one follows the other, right? It's a natural progression. It's not just random ideas here and there. There's actually sort of progression or there's a flow to these things. The last thing I actually wanted to touch on was Airtable. And this is actually pretty straightforward. Like I said, I'll just make a couple of columns, but now whenever you do get a script, where is this going to go, right? Like I, I don't want to have to go to access Airtable every time. Well, for this one, I just made a super simple automation that says if the script is not empty, then just send an email to myself with said script. And that's pretty much it. Obviously, there will be a lot of work to do to actually get this into more effective function. You can see that just within a few minutes, we were able to create a pretty strength, like a standalone little project where you can mess around with it and actually start generating shorts on a consistent basis without having to overthink about what you're actually going to say every single time. Now, if I miss anything, if you had any questions about how to actually build this, maybe that I skimmed over, let me know. If there's any other project that you want me to sort of build, especially these small ones, I really, really do enjoy making these as they help us not only, I mean, expand my knowledge, but also help us with our clients, right? So if there's anything that I missed, anything you want me to go over, let me know. Otherwise, I've got a link, my next video somewhere along the screen, and uh, I'll see you in there. Thank you.